Hello, this is Chris Stevens again, and this is a video of what I've been doing on a hardcore server. Um, shortly after I made the first video of all my stuff on my usual server, I ended up through Reddit going on to this hardcore one run by a an admin Savoy. Um, it's been good fun. Um, if you find that you have um, become a little bit bored with Minecraft, then perhaps go onto a hardcore server or play hardcore mode because it really reinvigorates the game for you, especially hardcore multiplayer. So in any case, I've chosen to make this video because the server resets the map and the bans on the 1st of December, plus because the server got a front page post, it's filled with newbies, and it's going to illustrate what the server's like uh, at the start of each month anyway, with a lot of casualties like that. So, the server pretty much runs no mods other than death ban, which is the server's own particular mod, which basically means you die in any way, shape or form and you're banned for a month. You can challenge unfair bans like um, lag related, the admin shoves you off a cliff by teleporting to you, or you get found by people using hacks. But apart from that, it's pretty much you get killed by something or someone, and you're banned for a month. So let's go have a look around and see what I have made. Um, so that's my inn. You may recognize it from previous videos. Um, I'm creative in an uncreative way, so I keep ending up building the same things. This weird thing on the other hand is my chicken farm. I'm not quite sure what I'm using it for considering that all I really get from it are endless quantities of chicken which isn't particularly useful. So more eggs, more chickens. And here's a windmill. So the windmill and the inn are basically carbon copies of things I've already built before. So just as a reminder, look it's a grindstone. That's my pumpkin farm. The reason it's up on the hill is it was originally an illicit pumpkin farm because I had run off with some pumpkin seeds that the admin had uh, dropped. Now it's out in the open. So this looks even more interesting now that it's 1.0 for Minecraft. So the swamp biome colours um, yeah, rather interesting though. This looks a little bit like the mushroom colour, I'm not sure if that's normal, since I've still been playing 1.9 and not the pre- 1.8 and not the pre-releases. <laughs> so I have 121 chickens, currently. So, uh, this is my large protected farm. You see the lip on there is to prevent the spiders from getting in. And it's otherwise lit well enough that nothing spawns in here. I don't really need all this food, but I guess it's just for show. The original inn on the first map um, was built at about minus 2000, minus 2000 in terms of coordinates, and the spawn was close to zero, zero. This meant that diagonally it was about three kilometers or so to get to it, which seemed about the ideal placing, that griefers and looters couldn't be bothered walking that far, whereas other dedicated players could. And they did find it, and so you can sort of build up relationships on the server solely by people finding your stuff and not destroying it. So it sort of gives you an idea of who to trust and who not to trust, because some, you know, people aren't really going to go for the long-term um, trolling by, you know, making friends, not destroying them, and then suddenly turning on you. Though it has happened. So in the grounds of this inn, I have a well. There is water down there somewhere. And it's not loading very well. Yep. So this leads off to 
a sizable body of water that connects to the main ocean. The map, um, I have posted maps of it, of the server inside the hardcore subreddit. Um, basically, it's more, it's about two thirds water, so on the entire western side and most of the north is ocean, and most of the south too. This is on a peninsula um, on the edge of the Great Western Ocean, if you want to call it that. So this is my inn. A few signs from people who have visited. My The first inn, like I said, was at the perfect location, and so it was basically covered in signs. For at least 25 people put signs up, whereas, you know, like 100 have visited and not destroyed it. Unfortunately, the spawn point got moved, and the inn ended up in the danger zone and got burnt down. But before that happened, I had already built a second inn because I knew it was going to happen. So, just a reminder, if you've seen a previous video of mine, these are meant to be like wine bottles, so two lapis lazuli blocks with a button on the front inside a grid of stairs. I've got a little kitchen here, which obviously does nothing. Um, on the previous one, this led to my mine. In this case, it leads to my skeleton grinder. And down here, you can see Von Tempsky working as a battery to power the mob spawner. This should be interesting. Okay, 130. Bam! Okay. Om nom 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 Oh fuck off Yes, the levels, the levels So when you're dealing with uh Lots of potential people who are just going to murder you. You'll want decent weapons, and the enchantment system does that for you. To give an example, uh, one player, Evlon Alpha, invited one guy to a duel. Uh, this was a noob and was all like, niggers, niggers, Jews, or something, um, just because he's obviously, obviously 12 or something. Thought he was all that, thought he was pro and hardcore. He also brought along three of his friends to try and ambush this guy. Evelon, however, had about six protection levels across his armour and a flaming sword. Needless to say, the noobs all died. So what you want are decent weapons and decent armour. So, I mean, I've only got a looting sword. I do have a sort of anti-arachnid or whatever it is, five, but I haven't managed to make a flaming sword yet. So, so up here I've got my table. Let's see what I can get for 19 levels. Ooh, protection for projectiles. That's quite good. So there's my Bane of Arthropods 5. These are some of my wolves that I've managed to tame. And over here I have my potion set up. The map, this map is still mostly 1.9, so the nether fortresses are quite far out. But I still have some blaze rods and love these things. Need for speed. So, that's most of the stuff in the immediate area because it's kind of like a build what you need because most of the time you're otherwise surviving or getting killed. I do need some wood if I'm going to show the things that I have been doing. So, let's carry on, and I'll show you some of the stuff I've actually built.
Mm, this will do. Just need some stuff for some boats. Oh, there goes the phone. Okay, phone call dealt with. Over here is the way I usually leave. I know I've built a dock on the other side, in front of the inn, but this way is the best way to do a tour. And I don't need to build a boat because I still have one. So, as you might notice in the chat, some certain people have gone um, slightly murderous because there are so many newbies and there aren't really going to be repercussions considering that the server will reset in three days. Um, yeah. In any case, let's do this thing. So, assuming that the map loads one of these days... This is the first one, just over here. So what I've been doing on the server is building large, heroic, full-scale statues. They take a rather long amount of time due to the wool. Um, you have to shear a few hundred sheep each time for the most part, and also hunt down a whole heap of squid to get ink. It's grayscale to kind of give the impression that it has been carved into the hillside. So that one's me. Yep. And the next one is also me, but my other skin. And again, you've seen it before because it's the one I've carved into the hillside on my usual server. My usual server has not been getting much love at the moment because I've been on here for a couple of months now. So, sailing, sailing. Mm, I haven't tested whether the swiftness potion affects boats. I assume it would just cause me to drop off the edge of the world. <laughs> All the animals got eaten. Usually, like, at the start of the month or, you know, up until the point where people stop caring because the map's going to be reset, um, if somebody turns out to be a mass murderer, a group of people will either A, put a bounty on them, or B, go and hunt them down because they do not want to be hunted down in turn. Survival of the fittest also encompasses uh, teamwork, so one player who might be hacking or might just be better at combat is more likely to get murdered and taken down by a whole pile of them. Though, in the case of Evelyn Alpha, as I recalled before, that was not what happened. So that's my second skin for my other account. These are the next two statues. These two are of people who are long-term players, around from the very start of the server, and also long-term loiterers. <laughs> so, these two were hanging around my inn for a very long amount of time. Um, the first one, this one here on the right, is Mike678. One of the longest-term players, though unfortunately he actually did in fact die. He got knocked off the edge of a cliff in the nether by blazers that he was trying to farm. Mike is known for hoarding large amounts of wealth. This other one is Link AU, as in Japanese for hero. Um, and I'm not sure whether he's still alive, I haven't seen him recently. Um, but he does tend to die usually I mean, I don't think he's survived an entire month. So, onwards. On the previous map where I built the second inn after they moved the spawn, um, I had found a perfect bay. It was I built the inn on an island, and that was in the middle of a bay with huge cliffs on several sides, and it would have fit like 15 statues had that map stayed. 
but no, we moved on to this one due to map corruption. It's the admin! So, sailing. <laughs> the peninsula is good for statue building, but not as good as the previous site. I basically used the seed to generate a map of the server and then went out here based upon that map because it looked very nice. Should be coming up to the next lot. Yes. So, the one with the golden sword, appropriately, is the server admin Savoy. You may recognize uh, the skin if you are from Reddit. This other one, holding the wooden axe, as in the world guard, um, not the world guard, the world editing tool, is GMX Geek. Uh, other admin. Haha, <laughs> my battery is now AFK. It's only up to 18 mobs. It takes a couple of hours to build up 120 or so. Maybe next time I shall find somewhere with two mob spawners to be more efficient. On that side I was going to build a third statue to a third admin, but he basically quit very quickly. Oh well. Oh good, it didn't break. What an astounding development. So. Now, that one there, if... Uh, right, that one is Smurfy X. He is currently on. You can see him talking occasionally. This one is McGregork. Another long-term player like Smurfy X, Mike, Link, all players who have survived for very long periods of time. And this next one who isn't hold any, holding anything because I never got around to it and I have not had any suggestions from other people is DMAC Greg, again another long-term player. Unfortunately, it came out looking like a bearded clown as opposed to a lumberjack in flannel. If there was just one more decent grey block, it would be great. The clay one is a bit too blue to do grey scale, so I've used it somewhat sparingly. Reload! And here, we have another one. This one is F3TCH, um, Boba Fett, and the reason he's holding a cactus is a callback to the very first server and the very first day where they built Fort Gamma, basically a small shelter completely surrounded by cacti, very close to spawn. It became the Reddit Community Center, I think, and then was immediately, well, not immediately, but very soon destroyed by lava. And speaking of lava, this one here is the server's first real villain, I guess, but since then reformed to become a honored and respected player, Ketchu. 
So he's holding a lava bucket due to uh, his exploits. I was going to build a statue of Evelyn Alpha after the um, incident with the four new players, but um, since the server is going to be reset very soon, I shall do it on the next map. I was thinking holding a bloodied head or something. But that's pretty much it for material on this hardcore server. Just keep in mind that it is somewhat of a challenge to stay alive continuously for two months while actually building some stuff. Most people end up building little hovels in the ground and then getting murdered anyway. But if you're going to play on a hardcore server, you might as well do it openly. I mean, sure, I'm hiding very, very far away from other people, but that's only the intelligent thing to do. Mm-hmm.